In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the URL of your application uh, using app URL suffix. Now, uh, I'm specifically talking about a model driven app. So I'm in the make.powerapps.com interface. And here, uh, if I click on apps, I can see the list of apps which has been created in this particular environment. Now, there are two types of apps. One is model driven app, and then there is an, another canvas app. So I can sort the model driven app. I can sort the canvas app. And now if I, uh, if I just want to uh, view the uh, model driven app, so what I need to do is like, I need to select the app and then maybe click on play. Okay. And once I execute this app, then I can see that this app is launched and, uh, you can perform various action on the app depending on the uh, the control or the content provided by those particular app now if you just click on say home button over here okay now if i just clicked on the home button now if i copy this url okay and let me copy this and let me put this in a notepad <clears throat> So I'm just opening notepad and here, if I just paste this URL, so I'll just zoom this a bit. Okay. Now, if you see closely watch this URL, it has uh, a proper URL and then it has some uh, appended query strings, right? So let me show you what that and how does that look? So, uh, yeah. So it is composed, the, uh, the app URL is composed of many things, okay? So one is the straightforward URL of your environment and then pointing to main.espx. And then uh, it is uh, specifying the app ID. So this is the unique application ID for this particular model-driven app. And then which page gets loaded depending on the page type, whether it's an entity list or uh, contact, and what type, what is the name of that entity list? Uh, what is the view ID which you are rendering? And what is the view type? Okay, so this is how the URL will look like. Now, what if you want to share this URL with your colleague? Okay, so what you need to do, you need to just copy this and then uh, provide a reasonable access to the person whom you are sharing this app. And then you share this URL in an email. Now, this URL is uh, a bit lengthy, you know. Now, how do we uh, make a, a decent looking URL, okay? Now, this app is called as contact app, okay? Now that uh, your app can be called something else as well, okay? So if you want to make this uh, URL uh, of this app more friendly, then what you can do is like, once you launch this model driven app, you just click on this hyperlink over here, it will open the app like mini app store for your organization okay where you can see all the published apps uh, apps being edited and all this information okay now the app which we are looking into is a contact app so here you can navigate to the contact app and if you click on this three dot over here more options here you can see you can open this app in an app designer or you can manage the rules now if i click on manage role then uh, I can see two options. One is app URL suffix, and then there is, I can specify the rules. Now I'm interested in app URL suffix. So if I click on app URL suffix, now this is a contact app. So maybe let me call this app as a Girish contact app. So if the moment I type Girish contact app, automatically a URL get formed, okay? Now here, this is much a uh, readable URL, okay? You can copy the URL from here as well, okay? So I'll just copy this and I'll click on save. Now the URL which we have copied, I'll show you how that URL looks like. This is how it looks like. So we have this environment URL slash apps and then the friendly name which you have given, okay? So let's see what happens. So if I copy this and open it in a new tab, and just paste this then it tries to search the existing app and then it redirects you to the correct app now if you see here it has automatically reverted back to the same url so that is fine but uh, 
this is what gets registered in the system uh, as a friendly URL. Okay, so this URL, you can share it with any end user rather than sharing this entire lengthy URL, which has all those app ID and grid and all those information. Okay, so this is uh, like uh, one of the way to which you can create a friendly URL. Now you can do this for any model driven app within your organization. So if you have say uh, another app, okay, so let, let me go into say airline app. Okay, so if I play this app, So again, the process remains same. You just need to play the app. And then once that app is loaded, you just need to click on the hyperlink on the top, the name of the app uh, here. If you see here, Airlines app. Once you click that, then you will be presented with a window to uh, see all the listed apps within your environment, a specifically model-driven app. And then once you select your desired app, so like say Airlines app, I can uh, then specify uh, in manage roles the name of the app, the app URL suffix. Now here, I'll just call it as say air, okay? Now if I give a short name, I'll just copy this, click on save and see the short URL. Now it is just the environment name slash app slash air. And the moment you do that, it will automatically redirect you to the uh, existing underlying app, which has that clunky URL, which has an app ID, which has an entity, type list, view ID, and so on and so forth, depending on what you are actually viewing within the app. So that's it, folks. This is how you basically uh, set a friendly URL for any of your model-driven app. Thanks for watching.